Okay, here's how I would do a uh, animation cycle like you're talking about. I don't have Mr. Pose, but I'll do it with the dummy character here. And uh, let's get something for him to push, let's say. Pretty much similar for pulling, I think. And we'll tweak that rock a little bit in a minute. Let's have our character move forward. Okay, then we want to uh, have him move forward again. I'll hold down the X key and move things around here. And let's move forward again. Okay, now let's go back and let's look at our timeline here for the dummy command. Okay, right there. Now, let's go up to animation. Edit motion layer. And uh, make a few little adjustments. I'm going to hold down the alternate key here and tweak around. Okay. I'm going to use the W key here. I want to lock the feet in place. W key, I'm going to move him down. I'm going to hit the arm here. I'm going to mirror that. Hit the uh, E key. Hold down the alternate key here. Right mouse click to cycle through the various motions. And you'll probably want to tweak positions better and that'll take a little time but we'll just do a quick down and dirty here okay and so now if we uh, hit play we'll notice what happens the arms kind of don't go where we want them to go so let's go back and stop here let's go back to where we were let's look at our motion layer we've got a keyframe right there and uh, Let's go back to the beginning and see what happens here. He uh, kind of gradually goes into that position. I don't want him to do that. I want him to uh, stop and go into the pushing position. So I'm going to take this keyframe. Let's delete a few of these things here. Get rid of that. I'm going to hold down the control key and duplicate that keyframe of the walk, straight walk. So he's just going to walk up straight, not change his position, then maybe go into that position. So let's slide that there, there, and uh, let's change that a little bit. Okay, but his hands are still moving kind of weird. So let's open up the motion layer again. Now let's go and set absolute bone so the hands stay in position as he's pushing. So now, okay, it's getting closer to what we want to do. Uh, another thing I might do is slow down the walk, drag it out. Now he's going to be beat with a little resistance. Okay, now. Let's look at the rock and let's double click on it. Get the gizmo up here and let's hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and spin around. Let's get the rock in position here. Might have to resize it a little bit. A little bigger. Let's say. Taller, whatever. Tweak that how you need to tweak it. And let's slide it over a little bit. Okay, roughly in that kind of position. That will be okay. And, all right. Close enough for our purposes right now. And uh, oh, let's make sure we don't notice what's going to happen here when I start the beginning. The rock's going to move around. We don't want that to happen. So. We'll slide it up here 
in this position. I'm going to right click and remove all the animation from the rock. So now he gets. Now we need to uh, attach the rock or link the rock somehow. If we attach the rock to our character, this is one thing that will happen. You'll notice it's immediately attached and it kind of moves along with him. That's probably not what you want to do. So let's don't attach. Let's detach that. And let's think about linking the rock. If you link something, you can then unlink it later. So let's link to our person. And now, of course, what happens is that's possibly what you might want, but notice how the rock kind of moves with the body, and I don't think that's what you want. So let's change that link. Let's bring back up our timeline here, and uh, let's look at that rock constraint. There we are. Let's change from linking to the upper torso to bone root, and that should allow him to just push the rock along. There make it a little closer to what you might want to do. Uh, as we play it along here, he walks up and then he's going to push the rock along, maybe like that. Okay, let's go back to our lake here. And, uh, you can tweak the rock. Of course, you need to position it a little better probably since it looks like he's going to be colliding with it right at this point. And you may not want that to happen, so you'll need to tweak the position of the rock and once again maybe undo any animation. Remove all animation there. So he's going to push it along like so. Okay. Let's move that around. Okay. Uh, once again, we uh, want to look at what's going on, and if we look, we see that's not what we want. We want it to link right when he gets to it. So if we come down here to rock and link, we can slide our link point to where he's going to walk up to it. Now the rock will link, and we can make it even unlink. So let's reposition that rock. And now he walks up to it. Okay, there we go. We need to undo some animation. All animation. And go back. There we go. Okay. Pretty close to what we want. Like so. And we can now unlink the rock. So it will link to the character. He pushes it along. When he stops, it will unlink. And now the character can uh, do something else. Let's click on him and uh, add a uh, animation. Let's say uh, you're just going to idle in place. Okay. And let's see what that looks like. Well, he's gradually, notice, we need to add a keyframe here. So let's go down to our motion layer on the dummy character. Let's hold down the control key and drag a keyframe. So now, there we go. A little better. Tweak that a little bit. And once again, you can uh, play with your ease in and ease out and all that with the keyframe so it looks a little better. Didn't look quite as good. There we go. Okay. So now let's see what happens. So our character walks up to the obstacle, pushes it, and then now he can walk off. 